In this video, I'm gonna show you how to download MMVC Voice Mod for absolutely free. Please note this does use some form of AI, so if you're completely against it, this video is not for you. What you need to do is scroll all the way down until you see Download AMD, Intel, and CPU on Windows. I'm not sure if this will work for those who are using Mac. Make sure to hit save and let it download. Next what you want to do is go on to Virtual Audio Device, also known as BB Cable, and make sure to download the new package. Now what you need to do with these files is you need to extract both of them. So extract VB Cable and Voice Changer. But because I've already had these files, I don't need to do so. I've already made a new folder called NNVC Voice Mod. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but as for me, I decided to keep everything clean. This won't mess up anything, so you're more than free to move your extracted files into there. Next, click on VB Cable File. Scroll down until you see VB Cable Setup 64. It should pop up with a window. Click Yes, then Install. Once you have VB Cable downloaded, make sure to restart your PC to ensure the plugin has installed correctly. Once you've restarted your PC, click on Voice Changer, MMVC Servers, and then you should see MMVC Server SIO. Click on that and let the BIOS run in the background. If you click off it, the voice changer will not work. A new window will pop up for Microsoft Edge, but for some reason, it doesn't work there. So what you'll need to do is copy the link and paste it onto either Opera GX or Google Chrome. Now this is where the fun part begins. Head on over to AI Voice Models and search up whichever character you like to be. For example, I want to search up Rewrite, and it'll be there. I tend to go for models that have at least 450 to 500 epochs, as it sounds more accurate and a lot more clear. Once you've found the model you like to use, click on the link next to the model. As said before, you don't have to do this, but I always like to keep things clean and simple. So, I'm gonna make a new folder and call it Voice Models, then save them into there. Head back to Real-Time Voice Changer, then click on Edit. Although I already have Rewrite's voice model installed, I'm going to quickly show you how to upload the model. Simply click on Upload, and it should say Model and Index. Go back to the file where you installed the voice model and select Extract All. A new folder will pop up with the model and index files. Just simply click off that, then delete the zip files. You don't really need them anymore. For model, Click on Select File, then head on over to Voice Model you've extracted. Select Dot Path, then click Open. Do the same for Index. Once that's done, click on Upload. Make sure to select the model once it's uploaded, and it should be highlighted. Now for Pitch, I have mine set to minus 4, but by default, it will always be at 0. You can change the pitch to match the character's voice perfectly, then select Save Settings. So whenever you next open MMVC, it will automatically change the pitch. Next, head down to where it says Input, and change your mic settings to the one you're currently using. For example, I'm using Fifine Microphone. But whenever I go on VRChat, I switch to Microphone to HTC Vive. It may look different for you depending on what microphone you're using, so feel free to experiment until you found the right one. For Output, make sure to select Cable in 16. Then for the other output, I always leave that as default. After that, head to where it says GPU, and select NVIDIA GeForce RTX. CPU and AMD might not work. For extra and chunk, select and scroll to the settings I have them as. You can also experiment on this too, if these settings are laggy or if you want to improve on performance. Once all of that is done, click on the green button that says Start. For voice mod, Head on over to Settings and change your microphone input to Cable Output. For headphones, select whichever one you're using and enable Hear Me. That way you can test out to see if the voice changer is working, and if it does, congratulations! You've successfully installed MMVC.
I also make sure to have noise reduction disabled, as this will block out most of the voice changer and may make it sound muffled. As an added bonus, you can also mix any voice changer within VoiceBot to give your model extra character. That's pretty much all from me, so if you have any issues with MMVC, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Have fun experimenting, and as always... See you.